Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. friends and students a very good morning good afternoon good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of this globe and as you know this is the DADM which is data analysis and decision making two course on the NPTEL MOOC series and this total course duration is basically for 12 weeks which is basically 30 hours 30 hours get converted into 60 lectures because each lecture is being for half an hour and we have already com completed 11, 11 weeks, we are going to start the last week which is the 12th week which is the 56th lecture as you can see. And after each week you do one assignment, so you have already completed 11 assignments, you will be doing the 12th one and then the final examination would be there. So and, and my good name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department IIT Kanpur. <coughs> so if you remember we are discussing in the 55th lecture starting that uh, and 54th also I mentioned something about different type of heuristic methods and one was basically the uh, artificial immune system that means how the body um, generates immunity system, the fighting uh, mechanism and how they fi fight the pathogens or the bacteria and the viruses which come and based on that we basically develop uh, the um, uh, artificial immune system as a um, uh, as a heuristic methods and under that you had the negative selection, the positive selection and the clonal selection method. Negative and, uh, and positive were in the sense that in the negative one you go and try to build up uh, a set consisting of and, and obviously we, I did mention that one of the distance measure based on which the matching would be done to find out the best solution was the Hamming distance, there are other distance measures also which is L1 norm, L2 norm, L infinity norm, Mahananobis distance, Maha, Ma, Bhattayaji distance and all these things are there. And in the negative and the positive solution as I said they are based on opposite principles. In the first case you, um, you develop and find out the set, initially the set is empty, you fill it up with the best possible so called set of solutions and in the and the other method we build up the set which is also initially em empty with the worst set of possible solutions. So in the example which I was considering, I was basically trying to build up that how I, I can find out the, uh, the bankrupt company or the, or the sick companies which are sick and we have a propensity to show that they will be turning sick in the coming uh, days or years in the future. And we took basically, technically as I mentioned that uh, historically 1960s uh, there were a lot of studies starting by Altman. So you have the Altman score, Zeta score, Olson score, Zavgraf score, so all these things were there. They are all based on this concept of, uh, of um, um, using the statistical methods to find out how good or um, bad and the sickness prediction could be done. The concept of principal component analysis all these things are generally used in, in when I am talking the, uh, the concept of multi-weighted statistical analysis based on the fact which the Altman score was developed. Now we are trying to take the same um, uh, variables, variables means the, the 14 such um, financial ratios um, that we can assets the asset to total sales, then the, uh, the values of sales to the values of the liabilities, all these things can be taken. And one can take the stock market price also which gives a good prediction of the sickness of the company. And then we said that we will try to basically discuss the algorithm, algorithm mean positive and negative and then basically show you res results about that. So I had given you that background and based on that we will continue the 56th lecture. 
So, in the positive selection method you basically set off a non-self string, non-self self means self means which are maximum matching, non-self means we are not maximum matching, they are furthest away from the set based on which we are trying to build up the set of strings based on which we will do the prediction concepts. So, input uh, are the self or non-self strings which we will may na name as n s, we will have a cross reactivity threshold. So, if the threshold crosses does not cross based on this we will basically match it and you have a string set of m which is to be optimized, m number of, of values to be optimized. So, they would be basically normalized on a 0 1 scale. So, if there are 14 say for example, we, there are 14 ratios all these 14 ratios 1 by 1 will be matched based on that we can say that how good are the bad is bad the match is. Now, remember one thing uh, you can have this threshold which I am talking about here it is mentioned as R2 this threshold can be each and every ratios can be matched and the difference if it is less than or more than a certain epsilon we will activate that yes the matching is happening happening or no, no the matching is not happening that is one. Number two is that it will also mean that out of the 14 ratios if say for example, 5 of them matching and not matching is happening and they have crossed the threshold value in whichever sense you are saying they are less than or greater than we will also say the matching has happened because the ratios by themselves have to be compared and collectively we will find out how many such ratios cross the threshold based on which we can say or the company is heading for a bankruptcy. So, our optimized set would be A. So, for each of m small m of, of, of uh, capital M uh, that is the capital M is the total number of such string sets are there. We will do the matching and it is mentioned here if you read this uh, if you see this line. So, if the distance is less than equal to R 2. So, that is the values based on which you are going you will take that um, that set and put it in the positive set. So, in the positive selection we are taking into positive set and continue till you exhaust the search. Now, the modified clonal selection model is that you will choose one element small n s out of this non self capital N s. So, there are many non cells you will choose one. You will present n s to be the detector set in that m. So, if there is a non self it will trigger and the detection or non detection will, will, will occur. So, we are saying that detector set is that it will generated by the negative algorithm based on the negative algorithm means they are further away. So, there is there is no matching positive means they are matching. So, we are just taking complementary part in one case matching another case not matching which are generated by the negative algorithm and, and it define its affinity or the match the affinity or the level of, of uh, value of n r 1 r 2 r 3 whatever we, we have. Select small n 1 of the highest affinity cells from m or elements from m and generate copies of these individual proportional depending on the affinity value. So, the affinity is very high. So, you will generate more of them affinity is low you will generate less of them. So, it is exactly like this when the body has been attacked by germs and viruses and uh, consider it is a flu and consider flu has a certain set of, of say for example, pathogens and the antibodies want to fight, fight them. So, the fighting mechanism based on which the dovetailing happens where they lock the lock and key concept if you remember I discussed that in the diagram concept. So, they would be generated more because they need to find fight the flu uh, virus or, or whatever uh, the uh, other bacteria it can be hepatitis B it can be pneumonia, cholera whatever it is consider the body's initial resistance are there. I am not talk, talking of the sense that the that the drug or the, the medicine is being given I am, I am not going to that stage. And once the higher the affinity the higher is the number of copies generated as I said more the attack is there for a particular time more such um, uh, um, uh, white blood corpuscles the fighting cells would be generated such that they can fight or fight those uh, specific um, um, pathogens which are attacking. So, in the fourth step it will mutate all these copies with the rate proportional to the affinity as I said more more you generate. Again compute the affinities of these muted copies with n s and select one with the highest affinity. 
this muted individual to um, uh, it would be basically set up as the, as the first level of, of um, memory cells. Then select N2 and uh, then it will be replaced by the data and again you will generate the second level N, N2 uh, like as you have done N1 and you basically repeat uh, the steps for each and every these affinities and then you are ready to fight the the pathogens which are attacking. This, so, this is the clone, you clone yourself, mutate yourself, yourself means the cells mutate themselves in order to fight. So, this same thing, you take a string, string small ns of n, ns, a threshold value is calculated. So, these threshold values would basically ch change as I am changing n1, n2, n3. So, I take the first threshold value considered is ri. So, ri, r1, r2, r3, r4 are the threshold values. For Ri, I find out N1, clone them and set them as aside. Then for R2 affinity, I again clone them, find out N2 and so on and so forth till the matching is done such that my cells are there to fight the germs. So, this is how the clonal selection occurs. So, I am not going to the details, but the general the loop by loop, they will be basically performed such that you replicate all the capital NS number of them. Now, in the clonal selection would have a complementary part when I basically discuss that from the point of view of positive algorithm AIS. So, in the sense the negative one was I will basically generate based on the negative one and in the positive one I will basically generate on the positive one such that complementary concept of negative and positive can be combined in their respective clonal selection algorithm. Clonal selection algorithm is just basically a sub loop such that you are able to create more of these negative one or more of these positive ones depending on what selection algorithm you are trying to use. If it is negative, you generate more and more negative. If it is positive, you generate more and more positive. Why I am saying that? I will come when I go into the details of the matching problem. So, here I start discussing the problem. I am not going to solve it, I will only give you the results. So, the data set is taken from the Indian financial market. So, I am taking uh, companies in 2002, 2003 and 2004. It can be done for the detail, latest data also, though, but this work was done based on the data sets such that you have 2002, 3, 4. And the total number of companies in these respective years 2002, 2003 and 2004 are respectively 125, 147 and 144. So, the total combined value comes out to be 416. Now, out of this, what, the, what is now your question would be in 2002, what is with this 125 or in 2003, what, what is this 147 and similarly in 2004, what is this 144. Now, look carefully, the second column and the third column has the, um, the heading, I will mark it with a different color, is the number of companies in the group, what is that group, I will mark, is non-bankrupt, which is important to, for you to understand, it is a non-bankrupt. So, they are not sick, they are good companies, good companies in the sense based on the ratios or whatever financial factors you are going to consider. In the second set, number of companies in this group, what is this group? They are in the bankrupt companies. So, I basically taken 125 set. So, this okay, by the way, uh, the set of companies which is bankrupt and non-bankrupt is the sample set which I am taking and they can be from different sectors or the same sectors. Now, the number of companies which are non-bankrupt is depending on, so there can be two type of things. I think the companies were bankrupt, were not doing well, but now they have come out from the, the stage where they were not performing well and now they are healthy, doing good or I can take arbitrarily some set of companies from the same sector with the similar type of ratios. So, say for example, I am considering XYZ company which is bankrupt. So, I will also consider a similar type of company in the similar sector which has 
almost the same type of products being produced, same size, so on and so forth, but it is a good company. So, I will basically try to compare apples and with apples, not apples or oranges in the sense, uh, if a company say for example, in steel sector of a size of 100 crores is not doing well, I will consider the same type of steel sector company of in the range of 100 crores, 150 or little bit less than that, less than 100 crores, which is doing well. So, similar type of number of products they are making, similar type of raw materials they are trying to utilize, almost similar type of, of um, number of factories they have is the first set of companies which is not doing well, it has three factories, I will, I will also consider the sec second company which is doing good, has three, three such uh, factories, number of employees and all these things are matching, it should match. So, based on that, I have a non-bank company and a bankrupt company. So, if, we, if you add up this 93 plus 32 comes out to 125, similarly 98, 49 comes to 203 and this set of 204 on in 204, 121 and 23. Now, remember one thing, you may be thinking that what does this number, its number of bankrupt companies is increasing, is 32, 49, 23. Uh, increasing and then decrease. So, you may be thinking that they are common in the years. So, the reason is, is the bankrupt companies are not common in the sense that if I consider in 2002, these 32 number of companies were bank declared bankrupt. So, obviously, any revival strategy, strategy whichever was being taken for these 32 companies does not come into our consideration for the next uh, 2 years of our study. These 49 companies in two, 2003 which were bankrupt we will consider those companies are fresh. So, they may have been in, in, a, in a stage in 2002, where they were showing signs, but we did not take them. We are going to take them only as bankrupt companies the moment they fail. Any indication we are not going to consider. Similar 23 number of companies are bankrupt in 2004. Now, in the bankrupt, non-bankrupt company, you will be thinking that the number is increasing 93, 98, 121. It is not that, because it may be possible the number of companies which a company considering as bankrupt, which is 32 in 2002 and the set of similar type of companies which are doing well, which are non-bankrupt is 93. Similarly, this 49, obviously they are different from 32, then the choice set of non-bankrupt companies which is 98 is definitely different from 93. They may be in the same sectors, but we will consider them as different. So, difference as that the comparison which you are going to do with 32 with the right 93 for 2002, 49 with 98 for 2003, 23 with 121 in 2004 are similar. That means, we can club good and bad companies depending on the fundamental uh, concepts of the companies are similar. Uh, the reason why 93, 98 and 121 were taking in non-bank cup companies was that this was the closest based on which you can find the group such that they can be matched with the bankrupt companies. So, obviously, there would be more companies which are non-bankrupt, but 93, 98 and 121 are the closest to 32, 49 and 23. So, obviously, the below um, uh, row gives the total, which is 416 for the total number of companies, 312 and 104 for non-bankrupt and bankrupt companies. Now, let us pause and think why I have done, done this, this in order to separate bankrupt and non-bankrupt. Now, remember one thing that if I have been talking about for in the previous 15 minutes also and also I mentioned time and again in the 55th class that the concept of negative and positive selection were based on the fact, the negative one are the ones, this AIS concept are the companies or the, or the so called um, uh, entities, I will use the word entities when I am discussing the concept of AIS in general, are the entities which are as far as away from the concept based on which we are trying to match and positive means they are as close. So, obviously, when we build up the algorithm, it will be set of companies based on which we will do the clone and selection, one set would be as bad as, as companies as possible and we repl replicate and increase it, clone in clonal concept. So, consider this 32 number of companies in 2002 were bad, so we will basically expand the uh, or, or uh, mutate and clone this 32 to larger numbers with different 
ratios such that the affinities remain the same such that we can match any other company which is closer to this 32 plus companies would definitely be matched as a sick company. Similarly, 49 is cloned to a larger value, 23 is cloned to a larger value to get the negative uh, AIS and the negative clonal selection active or, or to activate it and, and run it. Similarly, when you are doing the, the positive selection, this 93, 98 and 121 would be taken as the, the sets in the 3 years respectively such as the 93 would be replicated in the second year 98 would be replicated and in the third year 121 would be replicated to get the numbers or companies which are not six as that the matching would be done. So, say for example, in the first set which and, and obviously uh, and matching would be done that means those 93 has been mutated and, and expanded using the clonon positive clonon selection concept 98 has been cloned and mutated and, and expanded depending on the positive selection. Similarly, 121 has been muted and expanded based on the positive selection. Now, when you consider these all things you will see it as you check the results. So, say for example, I pick up a company which I want to check whether sick or not sick or there is some prediction. So, if I am running the negative um, algorithm or the negative clonal selection algorithm that company would be taken with all its ratios matched with the 32 plus number. Why I am using the word plus because those 32 has been mutated to a larger sample. It is something to do with the concept of bootstrapping, not exactly, but I basically bootstrapped and increase it. So, that company whatever the new companies I, 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 I select, I take that, uh, that string of variables or string of, of entities or characteristics which would I need to match. So, they can be the ratios and all these things. Uh, the market share, the sales value, the profit, the loss, whatever it is. So, if it is matched with this 32 plus, if the matching is in that negative set is as far as possible, then obviously the company is good. So, we will throw it away, throw it means keep it aside and, and basically mark it as, as, as a good company. Now, consider that same company I am, I am trying to consider under the positive, positive clonon selection that means 93 plus that company is taken. Obviously, I will take the same ratios as I have done for 32. Now, the match will be the highest because it falls under the category. So, that will be not kept aside that will be considered in the set which is good. So, we will say again the company would definitely not be sick. So, that means we are doing both a negative comparison, finding out the distance as far as possible, keeping it aside saying that this is good one. In the similar one when we do it the positive or positive clonal selection concept, we find out the company is matching as close as possible, again we keep in the, in the other set which is good. Similarly, if a negative, now why I am doing this or why we are doing it uh, a negative matching and positive matching, I am going to come to that within 2 minutes. Now, consider company is bad and we are using the same set of 32 plus negative um, uh, bank bankrupt uh, group and we are using the negative clonal selection or negative. So, the sick company comes it matches. So, in that case it is kept as a in the set which is sick. When you take the same company and match it with 93 plus, so the ratios and values will be such that it will be furthest away it will be kept aside that means it is a bad company. So, in both way we are also trying to match it the good and the bad. Similarly, we will do it for 49 plus, for 98 plus, plus means again I am repeating the clonal concept has been utilized to expand the set of comparison. 23 plus, 121 plus. Now, why I am doing this positive and negative co comparison is that I want to basically overcome the errors. What are these errors? I will discuss. I have discussed this type of errors in uh, DADM1, but still I will basically try to reiterate it with a diagram such that it is easy for, for us to consider this concept. This is something to do with the concept of hypothesis testing because in hypothesis testing there would be some errors both positive and negative how I am going to utilize that and I am trying to utilize the concept of hypothesis testing based on the concept of negative, negative clonal and positive and positive clonal selection concept. Now, here I will basically first try to 
utilized. So, this is a not very important for our for the concept of AIS, but I will just give the results such that it was easy for, for comparison of how good or bad the model is. So, we will uh, take uh, the com this um, compare the pairwise comparison, we take the same set of companies, we use utilize those already uh, developed model, the Zeta score, the Zavrian score, the Olson score, the, um, the Z score. So, all these things are, are compared. So, this Z and EM is the Z, Z score and the emerging markets, market score. Then this uh, O and Z is the Olson score and the Z score. So, all these things are to so this the last one is EM is emerging market and the Olson score. So, based on that we want to rank them whether ranking rank correlation is there that how close or um, further they are. So, we consider H naught where the rank where rho is 0 means there is no rank that is the rank by 2 scores are random there is no match and if rho is not equal to 0 rank of 2 scores are consistent. So, once we do that we find out this concept. So, we will be basically utilizing the concept to find out whether we should consider H naught. So, H naught consideration being there that means, there is some discrepancy in the comparison of these two different um, models when I am trying to basically find out any company which is bad. So, if they match in both the cases that means, yes it is sick under Z score also sick under EM algorithm also that means, the company is really sick and the prediction of the model is good in both the cases. Very interestingly, in any of the cases matching of these two algorithms everything is known that means, we do not accept H naught that means, these ranks of these two scores or comparison of a company by using two different scores are always same that means, there is no discrepancy which is good which means that underlying the models obviously, they, they can give a good prediction and we will check that. So, hence trying to compare a company which is sick utilizing any two models gives us good robust result. That means, yes the company is really not performing well and is sick. So, just so it can, could have been done with any comparison with, with uh, Z score or emerging market score also score could have been done with R model also that means, the AIS and that matches that will match. Now, we change this concept of the difference between the so the, the predictive power. So, we basically there is in, in the other case sign test or no difference test we do that. Again we find out uh, that P. So, in that case matching and rho was is equal to 0 and non 0 no rho was equal to 0 and non 0. In this case, we you use the case of sign test where p is 0 0.5 and p is not equal to 0 0.5. So, in p is equal to 0 0.5, there is no difference between the two sets and we will accept H naught. That means, here H naught has a opposite meaning with respect to H naught in the initial case and p is equal to 0 0.5 means there is a difference not equal to 0 0.5 is there is a difference between the two sets of rank and again very interestingly all the values are such that we will accept H naught as it should be. That means, using two different tests we are able to compare pairwise models as really being good in order to predict the sickness of the companies as it should be. So, some of the uh, combined values number of companies number of or sick companies we take it and these are the test results. So, once the test results are done, we will basically try to utilize in a AIS model. So, with this I will just close the 56th lecture and continue with the 57th about the discussion what the results for the AIS are. Have a nice day and thank you very much.